GLP-1 medications and menopause. I'm Dr. Jen, double-boarded OBGYN in integrative medicine. Let's talk about GLP-1s and menopause. As you go through perimenopause and menopause, it's very common to gain weight. You know, we call this the menopause belly or just sort of this belly fat that accumulates in the midsection. Now, it can be other places as well, but that tends to be the place that we accumulate belly fat, both visceral belly fat and subcutaneous uh, fat, which visceral fat is really that fat that bathes the organs as internal, and subcutaneous fat is the love handles that we sort of think about related to fat. This is because when your ovarian hormones decline, so when estrogen, progesterone, testosterone declines, it causes a cascade of other hormones to be affected, predominantly insulin, but also ghrelin and leptin, cortisol can be disrupted, other hormones, because they all need to work in a synchrony together. They need to be like a symphony, actually. And so when your hormones decline, then insulin resistance becomes common. And insulin resistance causes us to store glucose in fat. So store it in the liver and then store it subsequently in fat cells. So we start to gain in this midsection. It also causes disruption of cortisol, which also causes us to gain weight and also interferes with the ghrelin leptin signaling, telling our brain, yep, we're full, it's time to stop eating. And so all of these hormones can actually lead to weight gain. And GLP-1 medications, and GLP is glucagon-like peptide 1, are used to help lose weight. And they are actually very, very successful because they do several things. First of all, it's a hormone that's made in the gut. That hormone we make naturally, actually, um, but in very smaller, um, or, you know, short-lived, essentially, compared to like the GLP-1 medications. And GLP-1 medications like Ozempic, Manjaro, Wegovi, Zepbound, uh, liraglutide. Those are all different examples of those GLP-1 medications, and there's also compounded. And they work really well to slow emptying of the food in your stomach so that you get full and you actually recognize that you're full. And that is that ghrelin-leptin cascade where your brain goes, oh yeah, I ate, I'm full, I actually don't need any more uh, food. The other thing it does in the brain is actually change the sort of signaling of the reward. So in other words, if I have chocolate cake and I go, oh my gosh, I want some more chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. It's the best thing ever. But if I'm taking a GLP-1, I may not get the same reward from that chocolate cake. So I'm not likely to choose to eat it. So it disrupts that um, signaling for reward related to food. So most patients that are on it uh, who are in perimenopause and menopause say, you know, I kind of skipped the second glass of wine. I don't really need to eat dessert. I notice I'm full and I feel full. And, and then they're able to lose weight because it's disrupting this insulin-like cascade and also the, again, the intake that may be happening related to, um, you know, being stressed out, your other hormones wanting you to eat the chocolate cake or, the, or have the second glass of, of wine. So GLP-1s are actually very, very effective in perimenopause and menopause women. And they can be done at a variety of different doses. So you need to discuss with your doctor um, if GLP-1 medications are right for you to help you kickstart weight loss. Let me know if you have any questions about it, of GLP specifically in menopause women.